Did you know the mastermind behind NVIDIA Jensen Huang once worked for his future competitor, AMD? Here's how he helped build the world's most valuable tech powerhouse. Born in Taiwan, moved to the U.S. as a kid, a tech lover with big dreams and bigger grit. In 1993, from a tiny office, Jensen co-founded NVIDIA with two friends, Chris Malachowski and Curtis Prem. Back then, PCs were beige boxes, games were 2D sprites, and 3D graphics sounded niche. Most people shrugged. Jensen didn't. He bet the whole company on it. First came the grind. Prototypes that failed, chips that overheated, deadlines that slipped. Then, momentum. Riva 128 in 1997. A hit. But the real earthquake landed in 1999. GeForce 256, the first GPU. Not just faster graphics, an entirely new category of computing. Suddenly, games felt alive. Lighting, textures, motion. Developers noticed. Gamers noticed. The industry tilted. Then Jensen made a weirder bet. What if the GPU wasn't just for pixels? What if it crunched numbers? That idea became CUDA in 2006, a way to program GPUs like supercomputers. At first, almost nobody cared. Then deep learning arrived. In 2012, neural nets running on GPUs smashed benchmarks. Speech recognition got better. Image recognition got scary good. And a quiet pivot began. From gaming company to the engine room of AI. NVIDIA built a stack. Hardware plus software plus networking. Not just chips, but the whole runway. Drivers, libraries, frameworks, dev tools. Then systems, DGX boxes for AI labs, then clusters, entire GPU data centers, and crucially, the network fabric to glue it together at insane speed. Outside the lab, the world started running on GPUs. Self-driving car stacks trained on NVIDIA. Genomics pipelines accelerated on NVIDIA. Weather models, robotics, logistics, finance, amped by parallel computing. Hospitals started using GPUs to scan, segment, and diagnose faster. Movie studios rendered worlds at light speed. And yes, your favorite games still ran smoother. Then came the AI boom. Large language models exploded and the world needed compute fast. Data centers pivoted from CPU only to GPU first. Startups raised billions for training runs. Cloud providers raced to add capacity. Universities built AI factories. Governments made national AI plans. And across it all, green logos, black boxes, humming racks of GPUs. Jensen's leadership style? Direct. Durable. Black leather jacket on stage, roadmap in hand, demos that make the future feel present. He tells a simple story. Accelerated computing saves time and energy for the same work. If it's faster and more efficient, it wins. If it unlocks new capabilities, it dominates. That narrative resonated, first with gamers, then with researchers, then with the entire economy. Of course, none of this was smooth. Semiconductor cycles are brutal. Supply constraints happen. Competition is real and relentless. But NVIDIA kept doing one thing exceptionally well, anticipating compute bottlenecks and showing up with the right silicon, the right software, and the right story at exactly the right time. From 3D graphics won't matter to GPUs run the world's AI. That's the arc. From a tiny office in 1993 to powering breakthroughs in science, medicine, robotics, cinematography, and the apps you use every day. That's the impact. The kid who once bust tables, tinkered with circuits, and took a bet on 3D graphics helped ignite the AI era. The company he leads went from niche chipmaker to the backbone of modern computing. From GeForce to generative AI, from gaming rigs to global infrastructure, Jensen Huang didn't just ride the wave, he helped build the ocean. Today, NVIDIA's GPUs power AI breakthroughs, autonomous machines, and cutting-edge medical research. And yes, that iconic leather jacket? It's become a symbol of a company that keeps showing up a generation early and making the future arrive on time. Thanks for watching. If you like this, check out our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more.